Should we put that on top? Here we see Melissa making a card. May provides her with lots of opportunities to choose the design. May shows her four coloured pieces of cardboard to choose from. And Melissa chooses the one she wants by touching it. Oh, you like this. Thank you, Miss Melissa. Okay, can I just insert this one here? That's a good size, right? Mm -hmm. And we have four colors now. May asks Melissa if she wants to frame one of her paintings. Or we can also put one of your artwork. Would you like that idea? She rephrases the question while holding up a painting. I have some of your artwork here. Do you want to put it in? Yes or no? A communication device is positioned in front of Melissa. Yes. Oh, that's good. She communicates her choice so by pressing the button. Choose which one you like. Yes. I'll put this aside. That's it. Melissa is then shown different and pictures to choose from to put on the card. We will start with a few, two first. This one. That one or this? We will choose Two the best pictures one. are shown at a time. Melissa touches the you pictures like she likes. Put that aside. The picture she doesn't want is removed and replaced like by another this. one. Okay. And then she has another opportunity to choose between two pictures. You like she continues to choose okay. between two pictures this until one, one of them one is selected as her final one. preference. Oh, I think this is the last one. I was lying when I said there's more. Sorry. You think this is the best one we can put in? I think so too. The support worker presented choices to Melissa in different ways to decide the design of the card. These included showing the colours and pictures to choose from and phrasing questions so that Melissa could choose yes or no using the device. Brittany and Matt are asked which musical instrument they want to play. Brittany is shown three different instruments. She clearly communicates her choice by touching the green bell and smiling. Okay, so Brittany's going to have the bells. Matt had been playing the drums. Can one out of the way, Matt? He's given the option of Which playing one? another instrument. Bells. Elizabeth shows him two instruments and asks him which one he wants. Matt doesn't indicate that he wants either. This one? Instead, he moves the drumstick. He could be communicating that he wants to play the drums. Yeah. So we've got bells and the shaker. So we'll take this one out. So open these ones up. Take that one out. Elizabeth presents the two instruments again. This Matt one? shakes his head, communicating no. Which one? Are you going to play with Brittany? Elizabeth sees this and understands no, that want Matt doesn't want either of these instruments. Okay. No? We're going to go back to the drums, are we? She then offers him the drums. Okay, so Matt's going to go back to the drums, Brittany. He wants to hold this. Elizabeth one. holds up the drumstick, which Matt takes, and then he uses it to hit the drums, confirming his preference. So Matt's going back to drums. The support worker provided Brittany and Matt with choice using objects and words. She paid attention to their communication, their facial expressions and pointing. The options presented to Matt were modified until the support worker clearly understood his preference. 